and welcome to fifth week at the Oxford Union. We're lucky enough to be joined by Hayley McQueen here tonight. Um, I just have a few questions to ask before we go down to the talk. The first one is, um, what's it like being a successful woman in what is traditionally perceived as a, as a man's world? Um, I'm not going to lie, it is actually quite hard. But I think there are a lot of women out there at the moment who are paving the way for people like me. So luckily, I haven't been one of the first to step into a kind of role where I am a hard-working woman in a man's yeah. world, not just of sports broadcasting, but particularly football, which is obviously yeah. what I special in. But I've been lucky enough to have people like um, Gabby Logan and Kelly Dalgleish and um, Juliet Farrington and your Rebecca Lowe's and people like that who've kind of paved the way for others like me. But it, it is quite tough because as a female and you look a certain way and you want to present yourself in a certain mm. way, people could perhaps be thinking you're in it for other reasons other than just journalism to bag yourself a sports star or to get the fame of being on television and stuff whereas actually I worked really hard, yeah. studied journalism and want to be a journalist and yeah. it's taken me now, I've hit my 30s which is quite upsetting but I am <laughs> and I, yeah, don't tell anyone that I'm officially 31, it's sick and yeah, it's quite hard because I think it's taken until now for people to perhaps start to take me that little bit more seriously. Yeah. And I mean now you are sort of an established sort of journalist in your field, what would you say to students looking to go into the field of journalism or break into it after university as you did? Mm, I think it's the same thing that everyone would probably say, work experience and internships. Yeah. It's so important. I didn't want to get into television, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to work in. Perhaps maybe working in, in magazines or building myself up to work for a newspaper but I did work experience at a paper, at magazines, in radio, I did all kinds Just of everywhere. crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. and realised actually TV might quite suit me but maybe not necessarily in front of the camera but behind the scenes and I then got to see all the different roles that were incorporated into um, putting a TV show together and realise actually there's not just that one job of an anchor, there are so many yeah. talented interesting people who work behind the scenes and that kind of gave me an insight into jobs that I didn't even really know existed. I worked for this morning whilst at university when Richard and Judy were there so that was a really long time ago. Wow. Yeah, and I was a floor runner and a assistant to a runner and an assistant to an assistant. So, yeah. <laughs> you worked your way up. Yeah. And I mean, finally, you've only, you've only just arrived here, but yeah. what do you think of the Oxford Union? I love it. I'm so excited. One of my really good friends, Amanda Davis, who works for the BBC now, she came to Oxford, so she'd kind of told me a little bit about it and I'd been very jealous that she came and studied here. So we love your office. It's very cool. And the pictures when you're walking up yeah. and you see all these really inspirational, amazing people and you think, wow, I'm following in the footsteps of not only these people, but Johnny Depp. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's all we've got time for. We'll go down to the, to the speech now, but thank you very much. Very welcome. welcome.